Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai, welcome to C programming session. In today's session, I'll be taking one of the complex topics or you can say one of the rarest topic you'll find in the books that's socket programming in C or I can say more specifically a network based programming using the concept of TCP IP. TCP is a transmission control protocol. I hope so you have a basic understanding of what TCP is, how networking is done and what are the minimum requirements before doing the TCP programming. You must have multiple computers, it should be physically be connected, it should have in the same network and all those things. I'm not going into those details. I'll be considering you're having those basic understandings. I'll be taking only the part that is the C programming section. What are the codings you have to do? to do such a programming. We will be covering in this sessions what are the minimum requirements, what is the concept of IP and port number, what are the major features you have to consider in the client and server side concepts you have to understand for the socket programming, what are the major steps that means this is the concepts, server side coding, client side coding and running the program finally. Let's get into the first one that's minimum requirements. First and foremost I want to tell my all viewers that to do such codings you require Linux operating systems. The reason is the header files of the libraries which I require to run the TCP or UDP based programming, the socket based programming in C is available in Linux. So anyhow you require Linux operating systems. Uh, it's quite not possible with Windows uh, Turbo C so don't require to try that also. So you may check some other header files I don't know uh, some other IDs may provide it but I have not checked it up but I do consider that I've checked with Linux I'm using Ubuntu it's working fine I've checked with Red Hat it works fine Fedora is fine so you have to use Linux according to me in this according to me in this concept okay second thing yes you require multiple PCs but for the testing purpose I have created while running the server and client both in the same PC okay so virtually we are showing that it is in the same PC but client will be connecting to server and that concept will be there so yes somehow in a real life you require more than one PC but for the time being, we will use only one PC let's get into the second concept that's IP and port number what's IP and port number I, I do expect some understanding you are having as you are having basic understanding of networking each and every computer should have a unique number as those computers which are connected in my network that should be a unique number so yeah, yeah it, it will must be in a 32 bit IP4 concept according to IP4 concept and not considering IP6 so IP4 concept it should be of 32 bit you must have seen some computers having 192.168 and all like that concepts so it's a 32 bit IP address you must be having so you should know the client and server IP address okay uh, client is fine you should know to whom I'm connecting that is the servers IP address you should know then what is the port number each and every computer uh, runs services okay so uh, m multiple services are running on the server okay so in a single server you can have multiple services running so if I want to contact to particular service or I want to access particular service or I want to get connected with particular service I should know that particular servers IP address and at which port number that particular service is running or which particular port number my service is running more specifically okay server and client concepts you should be knowing that thing that to do in TCP or UDP or socket programming the server is the one who is going to accept the request and the client is the one who is going to request it so you have to create two programs that is one C file for server and one other C file for client okay I'm more specifically doing C file but in more specific way you can say like that you have to create a separate program for server you have to create a separate program for client the client will be connecting sending a request to the server so you have to always run first the server then comes the client so you start the server client server will be waiting for request client will be sending a request server accepts the rose request and sends a response to a client so this is the general procedure always goes and goes so when the server starts he says I am starting at this particular port number client should know his IP address and client should know the port number so he should able to accept the request uh, uh, means send the request accepted by server and return to the client okay now let's get into the coding section before going into coding session I will not be going into much deeps of what are the header files and what inside in the header files and all I will be considering 
only the major uh, methods which you should know what are the methods and how it is being used and what are the needs of methods okay in server side you need to perform five major steps okay then there are multiple steps but I have taken into consideration five major steps one is create a socket bind the socket to an address using the bind method listen for particular that's why I was telling like uh, the server will be in a listening mode once some request comes it accept it should accept using the accept method and server should interact with client using the method of read and write so these are the major five methods in the server side client side same steps you have to create a socket connect to the particular address using connect method so because client is the one who is going to request it to the server so he has to use the connect method and he has to do all other operations that is reading and writing with the help of read write method okay that's where the major steps uh, we'll see the now the server coding and client coding and we'll get into the how it will be run i've already coded it i'll be just explaining you what are the things are there else it will take huge amount of time and uh, i don't want to waste much time in that so i'll directly get into this some of the header files which we are required stdio.h is quite common but these are the three header files i'll be required for socket programming whether it is tcp or udp and all i've created my own uh, method called error okay so anytime i want to print my some error i can use this method i'll pass the value to a message which is a pointer so it's a basically converts into a character array so that method uh, error will be printed with the help of p error method i'm exiting from the program so exit one returns a one that means i'm exiting from the program due to abnormal termination concept it is uh, optional you if you don't want to use it you can simply print the error and you can do exit okay so it's up to you integer main i'm having i have to use command line concepts command line argument concepts because i'll be passing port number and my ip address and port number at the runtime only so i've used the command line concept main method it is having two arguments argc and rb uh, i hope so you have the knowledge of command line i just to give you an overview argc is having the number of counts how many argument is this bar argv is the one who is going to accept all my arguments so these are some basic variables uh, we'll be seeing what are the variables are required and what are the importance of it the most important one which we require is the character buffer this is the one who is going to have the all the values from server and this is the one who is with the help of which i am going to send the values to server and receive the values from the server okay so you can create two uh, two different character variables for the sender and receiver i have used single one of only okay the first step i am checking if command line argument that is if argc is less than two i am simply printing the error and i am exiting because uh, in command line it do consider when you run the program uh, you write something like that dot slash server dot out space 4547 or some port number so it will consider server dot out as first argument and uh, 4546 as second argument so it checks if it's argc is less than 2 then it says uh, you have done some error okay now the first step comes that is the socket if everything goes fine we come into the socket section okay now socket takes three arguments okay af underscore inet is the internet address concept that is i am using the going to use the concept of ip address okay so that is the first argument i am saying af underscore inet socket stream i'm specify i'm what i would like to use the tcp concept the third argument is zero according to the these two get me an appropriate socket i'm specifying to him that is i'm leaving to the system so socket takes three arguments the if underscore inet that is i'm going to internet address i'm going to use tcp uh, and you create the socket if anything goes wrong okay so it will be returned to socket fd okay if anything goes wrong if socket fd is less than zero i'm printing the error i'm calling my error method that something has went wrong in my error socket creation so i can't proceed okay so it will call the error method and it will print the error method and it will exit so that's quite simple okay so our first step is done we have created the socket we assume that now we want to store all our server address into server address uh, it's a structure okay uh, server address one which will have all the server address okay we'll be using the server address and we'll see what all this is having before using the server address i'll i like to clear the server address with the help of b0 i'm clearing complete structure okay i'm clearing with the help of b0 method now i need to store all the values my uh, ip address i'm going to use uh, internet domain and IP, all those things into the server address 
so first server address to be clear that's done second step is now to store the port number now port number is stored i have passed in command line argument it will be stored in argv fair enough argv's first position will be it will be having the port number now the problem is it is stored in the character array i need to convert the character array to integer value to convert i am using ATI function which will convert my character value to integer that is port number okay my server address i am filling the values that is if underscore inet that is i am saying to server address you will be having all values in ip address concept that is internet address concept you will be if and in underscore address any that is you get your address by your own i am saying that is this pc is address only you have to get it so address as and when the server is been started it will get the ip address automatically hdns method now the what happens is the port number i am having in integer format another i am problem is that i require in a network format okay so converting an integer number to network format i am calling hdns method now the server address is having all the necessary details okay now only thing is i am having a socket i am having a server address a structure variable i need to combine both of them that is i want to bind them that is my second step i am saying bind that whom the socket fd is having all the details okay whom you want to bind server address okay and the what is the size of it okay so, so bind method will bind this thing it is not sure that every time bind goes fine if anything happens wrong it will return less than zero so i am printing again my error i am calling my error method so bind is done now i want to go to into listen mode so i am going in listen mode who is having all the details socket fd is having all the details five i am specifying at a time how many clients i will be handling that is the five so you can decide how many clients a server can handle with the help of the second argument of listen method okay now i'm i would like to go in listen method as and when i assume that the client has requested i have to accept it so when i accept it i require socket ft uh, that is my socket okay uh, now what i'm doing is basically here i'm creating as and when i'm creating it i'm creating a new socket for that particular client okay which will have the all my address and all those things so i'm saying so new accepted socket fd i'm creating a new address for client address and client length okay so it is having cleared it client address and it is i'm creating the client address one new socket fd is if suppose everything goes fine the accepted one for him the new client uh, socket fd is created okay so i'm uh, clearing the buffer okay so socket fd is created I accepted the client it is having all the values i'm clearing now the, this client address will have all the values you should remember that uh, from which particular client it has came his ip address and all this thing is he's having it okay and it has been converted to new socket fd if everything goes fine new socket fd has contacts and now buffer only thing is now client is i have accepted the client now to get the values what client has sent so i have to clear my buffer so b0 i'm clearing my buffer i'm calling the read method that's my fifth step i'm calling read method i'm telling him to read it who knows the all information new socket ft where you want to read uh, to the buffer okay uh, what is the size of it 255 if everything goes fine if i'm reading is not problem then it will return a value greater than zero so i'm printing the value whatever there here is the message whatever user has sent i'm printing it with the help of buffer with the help of concept of printf i want to send some message i'm saying write method i'm calling write method whom to write who is having the information client information new socket fd is having the information what message you want to send i simply i'm sending a static message i got your message it's number of characters i'm counting and i'm saying 18 characters it is better you can use as printf scanf method you can get the string str alien length and you can get the length and all it's up to you how to do if everything goes fine it will return a value greater than zero okay so it will not print the error and it will complete it that's all in the steps and if you can just see it we have covered all the steps what i've said it okay so the first step goes i've checked it command line argument everything argument has been given or not okay so port number is given created the socket uh, socket i've checked socket is done or not i'm re uh, getting ready my server address okay so it, i'm putting all the values i'm binding it the socket and server address okay i'm going into listening mode i'm saying at a time i will listen to five percent i'm uh, accepting it uh, that is i'm creating a client addresses comes all the client addresses there new socket fd is created clearing the buffer reading the value from new socket fd to the buffer and writing the new value to the socket fd okay now get into the cl server side uh, client side if you remember again command line argument same steps i've created the error methods 
all same uh, buffer is there here also I am checking here command line argument less than 3 in uh, server side I am less than 2 is there and client side is less than 3 but the reason is in client we have to use client dot out dot slash client dot out space localhost space uh, 4547 whatever port number you have specified in the server localhost in the instead of that you can specify the servers uh, IP address so here it will be less than 3 again here same steps uh, I have to get my port number so I have created ATUI function I have to first create the socket it's same there is no change if socket goes fine socket is done now here one thing is there that is the host name okay this local host or the IP address is there so I've get it that thing in my server okay so I'm getting in that thing in the server what is the host name and all those things okay so if fine so I have to get the server address clear so I'm b0 I'm clearing the server address I specify I have address or address and b copy I'm copying the this is the one of the new concepts I'm copying the values of the server address to here okay so that is then now the server port number htns function again I'm setting the port number that is converting integer to network address if everything goes fine now I need to I've created a socket I'm uh, done with the server address and all now I need to connect it okay so connection who knows it socket FT knows it who is the uh, socket and all those things who is having the address server address is having all the address and is the size of if everything goes fine it will not it, it will return a value greater than zero so I'm entering so connection is done I want to enter some value I'm using f get s you can use canf function any of the functions you can use I'm telling the user to enter the value before that I'm clearing the buffer f get s function I'm calling who is going to accept the values buffer what is the size of buffer 255 using the concept of stdn that is standard input and input uh, now finally after getting the values I want to write it uh, which uh, who is having the socket address socket detail socket ft is having where is the value in the buffer what is the length of buffer str alien will get you the length of buffer now to get I am sending the value the server will accept it it will process it it will send some values to accept the values before that I am clearing the buffer I am reading the uh, socket ft uh, into the buffer and I am friendly printing the value so we have seen the second concepts also coding and all let's get into how to run the program okay so if you see in my program I am having a client.c I'm having a server.c so there are two programs that two files which are required that is there let's compile it uh, first I compile the client okay you will get some warnings it's fine you have to just see that client.out has been created or not okay uh, let's compile server.out okay so again and ls I'm having those two files let's clear it so now we are having server and client First, I have to run the server server dot out. I'm specifying 4547 as my port number. Okay, enter. Now server is in listening mode. You can see now I have to I can't operate in this thing. I have to open a new terminal. This is happens because we are have we are on doing in the same computer. Okay, so server is started at 4547. I'm saying dot slash client dot out uh, IP address instead of that I'm using local host 4547. That is the same port number. I'm specifying the server where it is server is running and specifying the port number where it is running so it connects it has been connected enter your message is asking i'm saying hello we know okay so this message should come to the server and should print it it says here is the message he got the message and he has sent it that i got your message that's a message that's a static content i've written if you remember in the server side so that has been sent to the client and i've been received so you can see that in this program we have seen simply how we can write a simple program using the concept of tcp ip that is on socket based programming using c language okay i hope so you have understood what i want to say okay if you have any queries you can write comment or else you can send a post a mail to be know the best at the gmail.com thank you and have a nice day